Hey Cam fam, welcome back and welcome to Keeping Up With Cam. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are returning, Subby, thank you so much for coming back. So today we have our toddler boy hairstyle video number 54. In this one, it's going to be a little long. I will give you guys the heads up, um, but we are going to be showing you our updated um, wash day routine, and then I'm gonna get into a hairstyle. So don't go anywhere, get your popcorn if you need it, and let's get into this. Okay, as we all know, Cam has low porosity hair, so that means it basically repels water. So I'm going in here and just trying my hardest to saturate his hair and let the water actually penetrate his hair so we can put the shampoo and the conditioner and all that good stuff in there and it'll actually work. So we're using our Shea Moisture Mango and Carrot Kids Extra Nourishing Shampoo, my absolute favorite shampoo, like this is my go-to I, I i oh love it um this product just gives so much lift to the hair um it allows for me to detangle while it's just shampoo state which i love um usually when you put a shampoo in it gets kind of brittle and you get kind of worried that you may um snap the hair and cause breakage but i don't worry about that with this shampoo at all so i make sure that i work it in there um because the hair doesn't um, get the moisture get the water as easy um, as like high porosity or just regular porosity hair um, I have to go in section by section so as you can see I'm starting at the back I'm working it through from the roots to the tip and I'm just making sure that all the shampoo is in there and then I'm gonna finger detangle as I go um, I'm gonna even break it into smaller sections if need be get him to keep his hair straight because he doesn't want to do that um but yeah i'm gonna go in with my fingers and i'm going to just work my way through each section make sure all of the hair is wet and all of the hair has shampoo and all of it is getting that product in there um and allowing for it to be worked through appropriately now i will say this is not a quick process this is not an easy process um it gets harder the the more hair that they have um it was a little more difficult in this instance because I'm doing it um, to make sure that I can get the right angles. But if you do work um, work the shampoo in your child's hair um, in the sink, it's a lot easier as well. Um, you have them laying down, it's not as much work, they don't get as antsy. Um, but either way, just make sure you're working your um, finger to the hair as well as you can and just make sure you're getting it all in there, finger detangle as much as you can i don't recommend going in with a comb right here um i rather just use my hands um and then it'll just make conditioning that much more easier so this is what his hair looks like after the shampoo has been worked through his whole head and his whole head has been finger detangled which makes it so much easier to move on to the next steps all right, so this is just a close-up look of what his hair looks like with the shampoo in it. A lot of curl definition is happening with this shampoo. It's really um, penetrating the hair shaft and really just allowing for that product to work its way through. So the shrinkage is real because <laughs> this is our water activated length check. That is what we're working with currently, guys. Um, just make sure that you are using the water and you're getting the product out completely before moving on. I'm using our Cantu Care for Kids Nourishing Conditioner. I'm not the biggest fan of the Cantu Kids line or the Cantu line in general, um, but compared, aside from the Shea Moisture Conditioner, which can be a little bit expensive, this is the next best thing that I've seen results with in his hair, so I'm going to use this today. So as I've said for a thousand times, his hair is low porosity. So you saw me add a little bit of water because I'm going to go through with the conditioner section by section. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to manage. So I've re-wet this section a little bit. I've added more conditioner because I do like one general coat of the hair. And then each section that I do, I add a little bit more conditioner. So I'm going through with my uh, flow through brush just to... Um, work all that product in you can use a wide tooth comb if you wish you can use a brush whatever your preference is just make sure you're getting into each section really well 
um, combing up, down, all around, just making sure you can really work your way through the hair easy. Um, like even if you were to just run your fingers through it, um, that way you know that the hair is detangled and it's going to be a lot easier uh, for the rest of wa wash day um, if this step is done correctly. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and braid a um, couple sections. You can braid or you can um, twist. I find the twists kind of come undone so it's not as beneficial as the braids, um, but I like to braid it and then I'm going to wash out the hair with the braids in. So they don't need to be like really done well or parted or anything like that you don't want them too small but you also don't want them too big that they're just going to unravel so get a good amount throughout the hair detangle as you go now we're going to wash it out as you can see i am cupping the hair just to make sure that i'm working through the root and i'm working through the ends of the hair i want to get all the product out of there you want to go through a couple times to make sure that all the product is out you don't want to leave any conditioner in because then you're going to have to go back unbraid the hair and do all of that and that defeats the purpose so just make sure you're cupping the hair as you go and get all that conditioner out and i'm now putting our t-shirt i don't use a towel not a microfiber towel not a regular towel i've just preferred to use t-shirts for myself and for cam personal preference but i do think it works because i mean it hasn't harmed his hair <laughs> um, but if you prefer to use a towel by all means do so um, but we over here love a t-shirt All right, so getting into our products, this is our Kuza 100% Indian Hemp Hair and Scalp Treatment, our Shine and Jam, rubber bands, brushes, combs, water, and a snack. <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna get started. I hope you guys are still with me because this is just the beginning. <laughs> so we are gonna go in and I'm going to take out the braids and I'm going to start um, parting the hair. So I'm parting roughly in the sections that it was kind of braided in um, but I'm giving very random very freestyle parts um, I like the curved look with this style again you could go with zigzags if you have that much time uh, I did not because I knew this style was not gonna be a quick style um, so I am going with more of the curved lines you just throw the lines in here and there it doesn't have to be too perfect or like too doesn't have to have too much of like any rhyme or reason to it but you do want the parts itself to still be crisp and still look neat so go ahead and do that um i worked with i believe two in the back two in the middle and two on the side so that should come out to six um but we can verify that as we continue with the video so as i go along i am parting the hair and then I'm just putting them in twists to kind of section them off to know what I'm working with at what time. Um, again, it doesn't have to be the exact same as what you see me doing, but just in the general um, area of what I'm doing. I will show you guys like a slowed down version of what it looks like once I'm done um, sectioning everything. But don't get too worked up on getting it exactly like mine just remember it's literally freestyle parts with curved lines so i usually don't even show you guys all of this parting um, but because it is kind of uh, important to this style um, and I have had a couple people ask about like diagrams or kind of like showing more of um, the parts so I am going through and letting you guys see how I do each each one basically and then you can kind of get like the gist of it and then um, do that for yourselves while you guys um, are recreating the style.
All right, so this is what we are gonna be um, starting off with. This is our foundation. So I have two in, on the right, two in the back, two on the left, and two in the middle. So that is two, four, six, eight sections that we're working with. There is gonna be a type of symmetry to this. Um, so we are going to, there, there is a reasoning behind my method here. Okay, my trusty favorite shine and jam. This is our extra hold. The yellow container. You can use whichever you prefer, but for children's hair, I prefer working with this one. So we're gonna go in and put that shine and jam on our major um, parts. So like the big parts, the major intersections of the hair. <laughs> so you're gonna go in just to clean those up, make sure that the lines are neat as we um, get the foundation strong so then we can go in and do the subsections detangle 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 it's like our favorite word guys especially with thick curly hair we have no option but to detangle until our hands fall off <laughs> if we want to actually get a style done and to get it done nicely so yeah keep detangling i'm going in with our wide tooth shower comb you can get these at like dollar tree that's where i got mine um it just makes detangling a whole lot easier so i'm going into now the first um subsection so we had the two in the back so this is the first one on the left and i'm going to just make a squiggle i'm gonna do a part but it's just gonna be a squiggle <laughs> down the middle across the side any abstract way that you want the only rule is to try and keep the sections that you're making uh, even you don't want to have one big 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 one and one skinny one so try and keep them around the same size you're gonna add the shine and jam to each part again to the hair itself work through with your soft comb it is linked in the description box down below so we're getting in here i'm actually going to slow it down on the second braid that i do and give you guys a more in-depth um talk through walk through of braiding for those of you who have been asking um for you know some tips and tricks as to how to cornrow better um so that is coming up in a minute or so um but as you can see here we're just going to work our way down you're going to follow the path of whatever you've parted um make sure you're staying on course make sure that the sections are parted neatly make sure that our shine and jam is worked in and brushed through comb through so that the hair looks neat and the style stays longer and because of what we're doing with the end of the style we're not braiding to the ends of the hair just go like halfway not even halfway um, and leave the ends out so we're going to do this again. We're going to put the shine and jam on the section. We're going to comb through, brush through, make sure everything is um, worked through and easy to work with. Okay, so you're going to start with three pieces of hair. You're going to take the piece on the right and you're going to hold it with your middle finger and thumb. And you're going to take your index finger and you're going to put it underneath the middle strand and grab the strand on the left now when you do that you're going to have that strand on the left that's going to be with your index and thumb and you still have that first strand that you had it's going to be with your middle finger so now you have one strand on the left by itself you're going to put that with your middle and thumb and you're going to take your index finger you're going to go underneath the middle piece grab the piece on the right with your index and thumb and you're going to bring it over so now you have another single piece on the right and you're just going to keep doing the same thing you're holding the hair with your middle and thumb you're going underneath the middle strand and you're going to go grab the other strand whether it's on the right or the left you're gonna grab that with your index finger. Now, the key thing is to keep your fingers close to each other as you're going down. You don't want this to be spaced out and wide. You want it to be tight and um, thin, right? So just keep grabbing 
but move very slow, not slowly, but very small steps down. Keep your fingers close to each other as you're doing it. Just move down, follow the path of the part that you have, and you're going to be fine. I'm literally um, doing this on my head <laughs> as I'm explaining this to you guys just to make sure that my words make sense and you guys are understanding the way I'm trying to describe it. So hopefully that was a great explanation, but if not, hit me in the comments and I will help you guys out as much as I can. Alright, so this is going to be a curved braid. We're going to start in the middle and make our way around. Now, one thing we do want to keep in mind, um, in the end, we're going to be braiding the smaller braids into a bigger braid. So, when you do a braid, you need three sections. So, for whatever we do, as it is, even though it is split up like curved sections and stuff, it's still half and half, half the head on the right, half on the, on the left. So for each subsection that we're braiding, we want to keep three braids in it somehow because we need three sets of three to finish this style off. So you'll see what I mean while I'm as I'm doing the, the braids themselves, um, but just remember three sets of three um, per subsection. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section how you feel about Shine and Jam. I know I love it, um, but I, I get mixed reviews from people. Um, and I've also suggested uh, the Shea Moisture Braiding Gel and stuff like that, which is something we don't have in Canada. I just have seen good things about it. Um, so I, you know, offer it as, as an alternative. But what are you, what are your favorite, um braiding products what are your favorite gels jams uh, pomades um, for adults or for kids let me know what you guys like to use I want to see um, what your suggestions are and see if I can add anything to our product list I know I've been saying I want to try the red one um, I'm just a little nervous that it's too strong like it, it's too much of a hold I enjoy the soft hold that I get from this so I want to see what you guys suggestions are and see if there's anything else I can add in All right, so we're going in with our second subsection. So the second um, set of parts for the right side of his head. So I'm going in and I'm just doing like a random squiggly line part. I feel like there's probably a more like correct terminology, but I'm just going with a squiggle part. Um, so I'm breaking that up into three, like I was saying before, and then I'm just gonna braid them down. Um, you're gonna braid them towards the outside of the head you don't want to braid them like 
down per se you're gonna do more middle um kind of like if you're doing like a pop smoke kind of um braid style all right so we are going in we're going to do a bit of a curve on this one so i'm going to um use my oh what's it called again An alligator clip um just to keep the hair out of the way as i start on um this side because i want to be able to wrap around and get into the braid so i'm putting the alligator clip and then it's really going to be for like a minute or two and then i'm just going to keep braiding um into the hair as i do a little twist and a little turn of my body um, to get on the other side and into the other direction of the braid. So a not so secret secret tip, make sure that you guys are just braiding, uh, sorry not braiding, you guys are combing through the hair completely before you braid, um, especially if you're working on like freshly washed hair, not hair that's been stretched overnight, um, you're going to end up with the braid kind of shriveling up as it dries and as it like goes over time um, and I hate that look. I end up having to like rebraid the ends of it like two days into the style just to like have a better um, a better look but you want to just make sure that you're going through with a comb like more like our rat tail comb um, just to make sure that the roots are, are combed out and the ends are combed out per section so not like the big section so per braid um, so before I started this braid I made sure that I use the rat tail comb on the ends and like at the beginning just to make sure that it's as, as it is as straight as possible um a lot of people do prefer using a blow dryer i personally do not um i if i do use a blow dryer i'm using it on cold air i'm not even using it on on hot air but i just find that the way it leaves the hair and, and in the state that it is to braid it's not ideal for me i don't really enjoy it um the only times i would do a cold blow dry um would be if i'm doing single braids just to get it um as straight as possible without it curling up and looking all you know wonky um but other than that i don't use a blow dryer but again it is personal preference and whatever makes it easier for each individual um so a blow dryer is an option if you are using it and you have the ability to use it on cold air i would suggest that um, but again, it is everyone's personal preference and you do what you think is best, what's easiest and what you're comfortable with. Alright, make sure that when you are braiding these, you're keeping them 
um, as close together as possible. Uh, like I said, those sections of three, um, it's just going to make it a lot easier when we are doing the final step and you want it to look cohesive. You want it to look neat and it won't if the ends are just kind of anywhere and everywhere. So this is definitely one of my more recent favorite hairstyles. Um, let me say though, it is not for the weak, it is not for the beginners. Um, this one takes a bit of time to get the parting down, um, to understand what you're working with, um, you know, to do the sections. Uh, also the braiding, and then once you're done the braids, you gotta braid the braids. So there's a, quite a bit that goes into it, but um, the style did last very long. Um, it stayed neat um and it was just a nice style overall so it did its job i i really did enjoy it um i am gonna try and actually do i'm gonna figure out like a variation of this style with twists so like a non-braiding style um just for those who either aren't too comfortable or don't enjoy cornrows or just can't do them at all um i'm just gonna try and give you guys another way to go about it but yeah, definitely one of my more recent faves, um, and it was fun to do. So this is what we had with three out of the four sections done. This is where we took a break. Definitely had lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever it was, um, because it, it was taking a while. But now that we're getting to the end, so once we're done all our sections, we're going to um, unbraid the ends of the braids as close to the base of the braid as possible. And you're literally just gonna take those three sections, that's why I said it would be easier to make sure that each section has three. And you're just gonna take it and just braid it like a regular plait, like a regular single braid um, all the way down. Make sure you are combing, brushing, detangling as you go. You want the hair to be as straight as possible um, to give the desired look that we're looking for. Um, but yeah, you just braid it all the way down, three braids per braid, and then we're gonna put an elastic at the end. And this is the final look of our toddler boy hairstyle video number 54. 
love this style um also love the new process that we are doing with our wash days so we hope you guys enjoy we didn't get too much video footage so i'm going to show you some pictures but thumbs up this video if you like it like it hit us up in the comment section below let us know your favorite parts any questions tips or tricks that you may have or want to know follow us and look at our instagram and don't forget to share our videos and our channel with your friends and family and come back for the next one can't wait to see you guys thank you so much for tuning in and we'll be back bye